Drew's love of nature is reflected in his many conservation efforts. He's the uh, inaugural fellow of the National Audubon Society's Together Green Initiative and serves on the board of many conservation and environmental education organizations. Please, let's welcome Drew Lanham. Thank you. Good morning, everyone. I wonder why those black folks don't bird. They, I mean, we've got eyes and ears too, don't they? So surely they, I mean, we can see the scarlet and black beauty of a paranga rubra, hear the mellow murmurings of a morning dove. Yeah, they got those big old broad noses too. They could even probably sniff out the hiding spot, smell up a skulking warbler or two, morning Swainsons, maybe a Connecticut. I wonder why black folks don't bird. Maybe it's something in that kinky-haired, dark-skinned, negroid genetic code. I mean, they, we can run like the wind, right? Could probably chase down all kinds of rarities, five-striped sparrows, elegant trogans, and greater peewees before first light. I wonder why black folks don't bird. Maybe it's something in their, I mean, our lazy ways, not wanting to go to Madeira or Benson Rio or the Sierra Cascades. I mean, what interest could they possibly have in seeing the beauty of a dawn break over the Santa Ritas or witness the sun sinking behind a saguaro, poor wills and elf owls welcoming the cold desert night? I wonder why black folks don't bird. It's probably all that loud rap music they, I mean, we listen to. Maybe they couldn't appreciate the ringing sweet song of a backman sparrow, Amophila estivalis in Pinus palestris ringing as sweet and clear through the Georgia pines as Ray Charles said they could. I mean, sure, there are some, right? At least one or two. I wouldn't call them, I mean us, tokens, though. Let's see, there's Dudley, Keith, Lamar, Anita Drew, Douglas Rue, to name the few. Well, at least there's enough for me, me, not to have to use more than two hands, wouldn't want to break the birder quota or the ornithological color ban. Better keep them, I mean us, out of all the same hot spots. Don't let them all gather at Cape May or Whitefish Point or God forbid the Everglades. All those black people sweating in the heat. We don't want to riot over rarities now, do we? Don't let too many Negroes at the same spotting scope all crowded up like sardines in a can or slaves on. Damn, I'm sorry, my bad. Spread out, lest some disaster blot them, them, I mean us out, like Ivory Bill Woodpeckers or Gunnison Sage Grouse. I know, I know, I know why black folks don't watch birds. Maybe they're, I mean, we're too busy not seeing the forest for the trees. I mean, they did hang them from those things way back when, didn't they? Or maybe it's that they simply don't have the time to be chasing birds around at unlikely hours in places where they ain't used to seeing faces like ours. They might get stopped by the man birding while black. Miranda for a tanager? You have the right to remain silent. Chip burr. <laughs> hey, you black guy with the binoculars, why are you looking into middle class white people's houses with those suspicious black people's eyes? Were you looking at my wife? Oh, so sorry, you were just looking for the black bill cuckoo? Yeah, I just added that to my life list, too. Wait a minute. I got it. Maybe their, I mean, our hands are too busy grasping prison cell bars or trying to hold on to health care. Couldn't possibly fit a pair of Leicas so occupied. Or maybe it could be that white supremacists and white-headed woodpeckers both love northern Idaho just the same. Or maybe it's that Swainson's warblers love the states where the rebel flags wave. Damn those black people. I mean, didn't they get black Jesus? I mean, Barack? Didn't that just make everything all right? Maybe they can have their own birds. Avian reparations, the lesser-known conjurer of Jim Crow, split out by the AOU just a few weeks ago. My solution is a simple one. Black birds for black folks. Fair and balanced is the only way. Be done with it now. Give a McTiraday. Let them have rusties and brewers and both metal lark kinds. The orioles and grackles and cowbirds should be enough to keep us quiet. If they, I mean, we could just be normal like the rest of us. I mean, them, I mean, well, you know what I mean. So, um... Thank you.